YouTube, what's up? Um, things are not going great at all. I had to take a woo-saw moment. Um, I applied for this job online and I went through all the rigmarole, took the assessment and all of that, click submit, and then it told me after however long, the hour or two hours or however long it took for all that to happen, it told me that there was an error. So I contacted the customer service or tech support number and I contacted and they couldn't hear me. <laughs> so I uh, sent them an email letting them know of the name of the place that I was, um, <laughs> the name of the place that I was applying to the location, the full name, the name of the management company, all of that. Then they emailed me back saying they didn't know what I was talking about. And then they asked me for the browser I was using, you know, the regular stuff, the browser that I was using, if I was on a Mac or a regular PC. And then they asked me for the name of the company again, and um, the location again. And so I gave sent them all that information they sent me back a little tech thing saying that I needed to clear my cache in my browsers, which I had already done, but I did it again per the instructions that they gave. The instructions that they gave obviously must have been for another browser. There's so many uh, versions of the browser. There's so many of them out there. <laughs> so it didn't work for mine, but I went ahead and I cleared them the way that was appropriate for my system. When I cleared everything, I went back in again, it still didn't work. So I shut the computer down and I started all over again. It still didn't work. And then on top of that, the person asked me for my password. If you're in tech support, why are you asking me for my password? Don't you just reset the password? But like the big dummy that I am, because I'm tired and frustrated, I went on and I gave them my password. And that's pretty much it. And then it went from there to me going to apply for another job and then I was just like wow you know I just got frustrated and it brought me back to what that one YouTube user was saying about spinning your wheels because that's exactly what I'm doing you know and it's so frustrating to me and the the rational part of it is this that okay if it doesn't work out you just go on to the next and don't be giving people your passwords security ain't security anymore you know you just give them social passwords and and everything else and um I don't know I'm just exhausted and so then I thought I started thinking like, like wow this job current thing really is not working out for me okay it's great that now I have mentors so at least if I have some good news to tell I have somebody to tell it to um but you know, in all honesty, when you get frustrated like this, you can't go to somebody because the, the whole thing about mentorship is supposed to be accountability partnership. You can't go to somebody and be like, oh, woe is me because like I was telling that other guy, nobody really cares. <laughs> and then on top of that, people got their own woes in their life, so they don't have time to listen to that. And so I'm just, you know, I'm angry. And then this morning I woke up. And, you know, like I said, I checked the different little websites I have out there for support. And so, you know, my assistant is networking. And so this one, um, again, young ghetto person asked me, oh, so you're not working now? You know, and so I was, they said, oh, are you working now? And, of course, the tone that they had was like they knew that I wasn't, obviously, from, you know, what I had on my page. But I was like, here, I'll send him a video link. <laughs> and that should tell him, you know. And he's like, oh, okay. And I told him I needed encouragement. Oh, well, okay, I guess. And I'm like, you know, why are you even sending me messages if you're not here to encourage me? You know, if you're not here to provide me any type of positive support, why are you even here? Why? Why? I don't understand. So, anyhow, so that's the first thing. Then goes the thing with the job thing. And then three, I look a mess. And then it's cold where I was at trying to do applications. And so I'm dressed in like crazy layers. Which, you know, eventually I'm going to be tugging my cart along behind me in the street. So, so I'll be dressed in crazy layers anyway. So I guess it doesn't really make a difference. And then I was thinking about my mom and how, you know, she's old now. And, 
you know, she really does just want to see me probably before she passes and I can't even make it home. You know, if I could get some penny any job and live in the street for a couple of weeks and, uh, you know, buy a ticket, then that would be it. But, you know, I'm, you know, by all regular means healthy. So, you know, I could start on my track and I'm just like, oh my God, that's like a thousand miles, more than a thousand miles. <laughs> and, you know, I said I was going to break it down into 10 mile increments. But, you know, there's some parts of it that's like 50, 60 miles long, you know, through backwards. And then I happened to have on some background stuff while I was uh, working on my things. And, you know, they talk about how these people just come up missing. And then, like I said, I have profiles on all kinds of shit, you know, multiple space, the girlfriend friend, all of that. And all of it's on the up and up. But the first thing they want to do is sensationalize and sort of be like, oh, yeah, she... Because I was watching this one thing that says some lady, her husband killed her, but she was a swinger. You know, I'm not a swinger or none of that. I'm pretty much for all intended purposes, asexual, non-sexual at all, you know, except for when I do my own personal stress relief, which, you know, is something personal and private to myself. So, and then I'm looking at my toenail and it looks like, not only is my whole toenail looks like it's cut off, but like my whole top of my toe I'm like what the fuck is going on and so I'm exhausted and I just it's not looking good so and then you know I was trying to do what I said about the mentorship thing and contact my mentor and they are having service tonight and then there's a couple different services at a couple different places then they have some volunteer opportunities and you know that's all good stuff but I'm about to not have a place to be <laughs> you know so I'm like I don't know. I don't know what to do. It always happens like that when you find somebody that's kind. You know, it's like whatever it tries to work against. I mean, I wish you could see this toenail thing. This is just absolutely crazy. It's like not just my toenail. It looks like my whole top of my toe is coming off. It's insane. But, um, so yeah, so I'm just venting. And, um, I was just going to go back and have my last little pity party and then just like clean everything out <laughs> because it's, because I need to, you know, if worse comes to push comes to shove and I get tossed to the wolves, I need to at least know where my legal documents are because that's going to be hell to try to get that shit back, you know? So, and my feet are just still so busted. They don't hurt as bad as they used to, but it's like dead skin everywhere. And I'm just tired, y'all. And then, like, laying around, you know, all the time in that little cubby hole that I have. Um, it's like, for me sitting up all this time, you know, I realize I might, you know, be causing myself a bad problem. So, it's just all around, and my legs are hairy. <laughs> and, um, you know, the guy was talking about how his mom feel. You know, my mom had a heart attack and I didn't even know about it, you know, so I don't know what I'm going to see the next time I see my mother. You know, I'm just exhausted. I can't. And, you know, like I said, I don't really have any other real family, but they're going to. Um, they're going to be around, you know, and then on top of that, like that's assessment thing. I have to tell you, the assessments have changed over the years. The assessment now it's geared more towards finding out who loners are because the questions that it asks you are like do you have any family within 25 miles you know it asks you stuff like that you know to try to gauge you know if you are a loner and that type of thing and then it says you give IBM and Homeland Security permission to I guess interpret the data you know so it's just all kinds of fuckery going on here but I'm just exhausted, you know, and I made this little pit stop and I'm going to be catching the shuttle and um, I'm going back to the base one. Speaking of the shuttle, I just missed it. <laughs> just missed it. Just freaking missed it. But there's another one coming soon. I'm going to go get on that. And, you know, sometimes, you know, things ain't meant to work out, you know. And, um, you know, maybe, I don't know, you know, what what's going to happen from here. But I guess it doesn't really matter because, you know, I still have a life and I'm living. 
and you know who knows this might be another sad korean story where it's just tragic like i end up walking a thousand miles to try to get to see my mom and i end up getting murdered along the way and then my mom after finding out i'm murdered dies or some shit like that you know it's just so crazy you know and then not only do i get murdered along the way or kidnapped or raped or whatever but then you know they find all my profiles and say that i'm some kind of sexual deviant or like i was some promiscuous whore or something which i'm not another sad thing i realized as i was walking here i calculated my net worth my net worth is less than less than forty eight hundred dollars annually so sad that's my net worth as far as dollars my net worth as far as people I don't have anybody so this tells you a lot I don't have family I don't have friends so you know I guess if something did happen you know it wouldn't really matter but you know I don't know I don't know but anyways my toenail is looking quite fucked up now and um I'm about to leave here and go catch my shuttle and here's that man oh good it's not him it's a man that I hate that works here but anyways I'm gonna go